Epaminondas, was a Theban general and statesman of the 4th century BC who transformed the ancient Greek city-state of Thebes, leading it out of Spartan subjugation into a preeminent position in Greek politics. In the process he broke Spartan military power with his victory at Leuctra and liberated the Messenian helots, a group of Peloponnesian Greeks who had been enslaved under Spartan rule for some 230 years. Having been defeated in the Messenian War ending in 600 BC, Epaminondas reshaped the political map of Greece, fragmented old alliances, created new ones, and supervised the construction of entire cities. He was militarily influential as well, inventing and implementing several major battlefield tactics. The Roman orator Cicero called him the first man of Greece and Montaigne judged him one of the three worthiest and most excellent men that had ever lived. But Epaminondas has fallen into relative obscurity in modern times. The changes Epaminondas wrought on the Greek political order did not long outlive him, as the cycle of shifting hegemonies and alliances continued unabated. A mere 27 years after his death, a recalcitrant Thebes was obliterated by Alexander the Great. Thus Epaminondas, who had been praised in his time as an idealist and liberator, is today largely remembered for a decade of campaigning that sapped the strength of the great land powers of Greece and paved the way for the Macedonian conquest. Early life Epaminondas was born into the Theban aristocracy in the late 5th century BC. Estimates for the year of his birth vary widely. Cornelius Nepos claims that his father, Polymus, had been left impoverished by his ancestors. He was educated in his childhood by Lysis of Tarentum, one of the last major Pythagorean philosophers. Epaminondas evidently excelled as a student, and was devoted to Lysis. Nepos also tells us that the young Epaminondas worked hard to increase his physical prowess, and specifically his agility since he thought that strength suited the purposes of wrestlers, but that agility conduced to excellence in war. He also trained in running and wrestling, but most of all, he undertook martial exercises. Epaminondas evidently began serving as a soldier after adolescence. Plutarch refers to an incident involving Epaminondas that occurred during the Battle at Mantony. Though not explicitly stated, this was probably the Spartan attack on Mantony in 385 BC. As described by Xenophon, Plutarch tells us that Epaminondas was there as part of a Theban force aiding the Spartans. So this battle fits the description. Epaminondas was certainly not old enough to have served at the First Battle of Mantony which was in 418 BC. It was at this battle, regardless of exactly when and where this occurred, that a defining moment of Epaminondas's early life would happen. Epaminondas saved the life of his fellow Theban Pelopidas, Pelopidas after receiving seven wounds in front sank down upon a great heap of friends and enemies who lay there together, but Epaminondas, although he thought him lifeless, stood forth to defend his body and his arms, and fought desperately, single-handed against many, determined to die rather than leave Pelopides lying there. And now he too was in a sorry plight, having been wounded in the breast with a spear and in the arm with a sword. When Aegisipolis the Spartan king came to his aid from the other wing, and when all hope was lost, saved in both, Plutarch says that this incident firmly cemented their friendship, and Pelopidas would be Epaminondas's partner in politics for the next 20 years. Epaminondas, considered the greatest warrior statesman of ancient Thebes by many, including the Roman historian Diodorus Siculus. Diodorus does not have anything to say about the sexual orientation of Epaminondas or the sacred band, nor does he say anything about the following account, again from Plutarch. According to Plutarch dramatic dialogue, Epaminondas had two male lovers, Asapikis and Caphysodorus, the latter died with him at Mantinea in battle. They were buried together, something usually reserved for a husband and wife in Greek society. 